Hola, señoritas. Well, in today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to do formal commands. And in formal commands, you tell a person like Señor Maresca what to do because you address me as usted. So that's going to be an usted command. Also, whenever you talk to a group of people and you give commands, then you use ustedes, the ustedes commands. So we consider this formal commands, usted and ustedes. Now, once again, a command is used to give orders or advice. And formal commands, once again, are used with people you address as usted or ustedes. And these formal commands are very easy to form because you know the three-step process now. Because you learned how to form the negative two commands, we're going to use that three-step process. Just a little bit different at the end with the endings. So let's go back and take a look at the three-step process. So the usted and ustedes command is used with a three-step process. You go to the yo form of the present, and of course, almost every single verb in the present yo form ends in the vowel o. So you're going to drop that vowel o and add the endings. So now, with the usted command, which is singular, you're going to use from AR verbs, you're going to flip the vowel and use the A. For the ER and IR verbs, you're going to use the A. So it's singular. The ustedes commands, however, have to be plural. But look how we flip the vowel. AR verbs are going to take an ANA, and ER and IR verbs will take an ANA. So those are your endings. So you've had practice before with the negative two commands. So let's practice again. Limpiar. We have limpio. You drop the O and you add the proper vowel ending. So it's limpie usted, limpien ustedes. Barrer is barro. Barra usted, barran ustedes. Sacudir, sacudo. Sacuda usted, sacudan ustedes. So now, please continue. We have decir, digo, and so their commands. Diga usted, digan ustedes. Pensar, remember the old form, pienso. So you're going to keep that stem change. Piense usted, piensen ustedes. Likewise, volver. Likewise, servir. They stem change. Likewise, dormir. Stem changes. Please remember that certain verbs are zico verbs. So like conducir. Conduzco. And so the commands would be conduzca usted, conduzcan ustedes. And so now to finish up our examples, we have some go-go verbs. Hacer, hago, haga usted, hagan ustedes. I am quite certain that you have seen hagan before. And then... We have poner, pongo, ponga usted, pongan ustedes. And then there are the rest of them. So continue working as we go to the next part of our presentation. Now here is something I'm sure you're going to like, señoritas. And that is, to make a formal command negative, you just simply place or say no before the command. For example... Ponga las maletas en la cama. That's an affirmative command. Put the suitcases on the bed. To make it negative, you just say, no, no ponga. No ponga, ponga usted las maletas en la, en la cama. Then, sacudan ustedes los muebles. Dust. The furniture. To make it negative, you just say, no, no sacudan. So the command does not change. If you remember... The two commands, there was a big difference between affirmative and negative, but not here with the formal commands. So that should make you very happy. 
But there is one thing you need to remember. Actually, there are two, but here's the first one. And that's the verbs that end in kar, gar, and zar. We continue to have that spell change in these type of commands. Because we're working with the vowel E, we have to have that spell change. For example, sacar, saco. So the command would be saque usted saquen ustedes. Jugar, remember the O form stem changes. Juego, drop the O. But you also have to spell change it. Juegue usted, jueguen ustedes. And then almorzar, stem changes likewise, but it's also a Z-A-R verb. So you have to say, almuerce usted, almuercen ustedes. Now, if you remember the negative two commands, the irregulars were the five verbs whose O form did not end in an O. Well, now I have good news for you. The same five verbs are going to be irregular in the formal commands. Usted and ustedes. So the, here are the five verbs right here. So here are the commands. De, den. Este, esten. Vaya, vayan. Sepa, sepan. Sea, sean. Please remember also to make any usted, ustedes command negative. Just simply say no. Like, no de usted. Or, no este aquí. Things like that. Here, señoritas, just like you learned in the familiar or two commands, if the command is affirmative and you're using pronouns like reflexive, indirect, and direct object pronouns, you must attach. You must attach those pronouns to the command itself. Likewise, in ustedes. In fact, the rule is, all affirmative commands using pronouns, those pronouns must be attached. Now, señoritas, just like you learned with the familiar or two commands, whenever a pronoun is attached to a command, and that command, of course, is affirmative, you're going to need an accent mark. And it has to be on the original stress. For example, limpie. The original stress is right here, over the I, the first I. When you attach the pronoun, uno, dos, bam. Leon, the natural stress occurs right there. Leonlo, uno, dos, bam. Diga, natural stress occurs right there. Digamelo, uno, dos, tres, bam. This one because it has four syllables, the natural stress being over the I, you have to write that. You have to count back four. Notice how I was counting back three. Whenever you add two pronouns, like a may and a lo, to a command, then you have to go back to the fourth syllable. So just like you learned with the familiar or two commands, pronouns with negative commands will always precede the verb or precede the command. And so, no se preocupe. No me lo de. No los ensucien. No nos las traigan. So, here's some work for you to do, señoritas. You're going to change all of these verbs into affirmative commands and negative commands. However, Please be careful. There is an attachment. That's a pronoun. So make sure you use these pronouns in your commands. The first thing you want to do is take a look at what type of command. Usted or ustedes. And then, for the affirmative, it needs to be attached. The pronoun needs to be attached. For the negative, don't forget to say no. And then, use the pronoun and then the command. And here's very important, this part right here. Look what I say here. Reflexive verbs use the pronoun say with usted and ustedes commands. Remember, with the familiar commands, reflexive verbs use the pronoun te. Here, we're going to use the pronoun say. Okay. Nos vemos en clase. Muchas gracias.